Hey, it's Jeremy Ward. Uh, somebody asked me about the importance of a survey the other day. Um, it, you know, when I first started buying real estate, if I could go out and find the pegs and there was a survey in hand, I felt pretty good about it. As time went on, I learned that surveys are so very important, especially if you're buying something outside of a neighborhood that's, that's uh, not like a platted subdivision. Platted subdivisions, I mean, you can do surveys on them. I have seen where those are wrong at times. Um, generally, the developers had it surveyed. It, they'll have curb cuts out front and pins in the back. It's pretty easy to find your, your um, dimensions for subdivisions. But if you're out in the rural area and you're just buying an acre or two, I would suggest that you have it surveyed. If you're buying a big farm, have it surveyed. You know, sometimes I see the deed and it'll say, it'll call for 200 acres. And then when we actually survey it, sometimes it's 198, sometimes it's 205. So sometimes you gain ground, sometimes you lose ground, but at least you know what you got. Uh, and it, it takes out any problems that you may have in the future. I'd bought a house, oh, a few years ago, and um, it had been surveyed. Uh, she owned both pieces of property, a house to the left, and the house I bought on the right. Uh, well, I went ahead and had it surveyed because I'm gonna break a lot off of it. And I found out the neighbor's driveway was on my property. So that's something I'm gonna have to give an easement or do something with to, to make that good for the next buyer. Uh, so yeah, surveys are very important. Uh, one thing that you need to keep in mind if you're gonna do a survey, these surveyors in our area are, are way behind, probably a month out at least, uh, depending on who you're talking to. So these things do take time. It's not something you can just call and get somebody out there the next day. It, it, it's gonna take some scheduling. So if you're writing an offer on a piece of vacant ground and you want a survey, just make sure your agent gives them plenty of time to get the survey done, get the results back, you know, then you can go out and walk it, make sure that you're satisfied with what, what they come up with. Because if not, there's just no telling. I mean, a lot of times people did handshake deals back in the day, they did legal descriptions. Maybe it was father to son or our uncle to, to nephew, something like that. And they're just using a fence line and the old oak tree, right? Those things fall down, they get tore down and you really you lose your lines. And sometimes those lines that grandpa thought was right, wasn't right. I had a situation where um, I bought a piece and his dad told him that was a line 50 years ago, so that was the line. Well, when we surveyed it, it wasn't the line. So again, it's very important to spend the money on surveys. Get an estimate from your surveyor before you do it. Uh, these things can be the cheap as a thousand bucks and I've seen them up to 10,000 bucks. It just depends on how much work um, that needs to be done. You have options in our contract, whether the buyer pays for it, the seller pays for it, or it's split evenly. Sometimes a buyer and seller will agree that, you know, we'll share the cost of the survey. So there's a lot that goes into it, but just talk to your uh, trusted real estate agent. If y'all have any questions about surveys, I'd be more than happy to try to answer or put you in touch with a really good surveyor that I use. For more local real estate information, please subscribe and like the Jeremy Ward team on YouTube.